we have very few original ideas solving India problems. Uh, I think most of the entrepreneurs are choosing uh, to pick up something from the West or something that they've read about on TechCrunch and start implementing that without understanding the Indian uh, application uh, of that particular concept and doing any research or homework about the actual market uh, to start with. Uh, there's a lot of uh, talent, uh, it's just that there is very little of uh, uh, research of what is the reality that they do. They, they make assumptions based on articles that they have read about the market on the internet. I don't think that happens well. We, uh, startups need to go and talk to the market, maybe spend half of their day just meeting people and understanding that ecosystem. I think we don't do that. Uh, we should do a lot more uh, of that. Uh, when I tell people that they should do a survey of 5,000 people, they think it's a big deal to do that. And I think it's the easiest thing to make your startup failure proof uh, to start with. Uh, but uh, uh, interviewing 5,000 people sounds like a big deal to a lot of people when they don't realize that wasting nine months of your precious time uh, and effort and money uh, is worth a lot more. Second uh, problem I have with the ecosystem is that we are building businesses for raising money versus building traction. I think uh, uh, I, I fundamentally believe that the company should be able to get VCs talking to them and chasing them versus them coming to events and wanting to pitch their idea for money. I think uh, the best of any startup, you talk to any company, they'll tell you that their best thing came out when they had no money. Uh, and I can tell you it's a survival instinct that drives a lot of uh, creativity and innovation. So uh, we don't do that. We try and say that, hey, let's be super safe, keep our safety net on all the time, uh, pay salaries to all our people and make sure we deliver. I think uh, that's a flawed uh, thought process to start with. And I think we are also spoiled in some way that we get this funding also, which is uh, uh, for other markets, it will be difficult to get that kind of money also, right? Uh, also, uh, perceptions about uh, what a lot of people are. So I've seen a lot of people actually come from great engineering schools and great B schools, coming with a lot of uh, baggage of what they think they know. Uh, when they don't realize that the entrepreneurship, when you jump into it, the first day you kind of wipe off everything that you've got and you start from scratch. I think they come with a lot of baggage. Um, and I have seen companies take 8 to 12 months to get rid of that baggage through rough experiences, not by choice. Uh, I think a lot of uh, entrepreneurs to, should uh, really uh, be open to unlearn and start all over again, right? Uh, so that's generally from the ecosystem perspective. We're talking about consumer internet, uh, I think uh, it's an interesting time. Uh, uh, and this is when I talk about, let's say, growth on e-commerce. Uh, I, 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 I still believe that uh, we will not leapfrog to niche e-commerce versus uh, the core horizontal e-commerce will not succeed. It's like trying to uh, make a mall work without actually making a food bazaar work. Uh, I, I don't see that happening. Or making a cinema work or a food court work. Uh, I think these models have to work first for the niche uh, retail stores to come in. In the same way, I believe that people should learn to transact online first on simpler categories and then eventually get to some niche players. Uh, I think we've got every niche players clone five to six of them already in this country when there is the transacting customers growth is uh, extremely poor, I would say, uh, compared to uh, what we should be having with all the investment going on. Uh, I also keep referring to this term that uh, in, in India, uh, consumer internet is all about two things, uh, need and greed. Only these two categories work. Uh, I, my problem is greed is not sustainable. Uh, and, and I've seen companies when they take the stance of not wanting to aggressively discount or this thing, the drop is significant. So that means you have not changed behavior yet. You have just managed to take the incentive out and kind of let them disappear after that. So I, I think uh, that's concerning to me, right? Uh, but on the other side, I think there are some interesting things happening uh, uh, where people are realizing that we need to make India set uh, uh, of India 
focused e-commerce or consumer internet companies or apps or things and, and you know, I, I'll give you an example like I, I learned about the Exico Agapod Indian Railways it's a big success well, well it was a no brainer when you if you ask someone after thought that oh, oh why would the railway app be a success well it had to be a success it was something that was a problem uh, but what we tend to do is we create these uh, great uh, apps which appear cool to us but do not have a mass appeal. Uh, India is all about volumes and we should be able to figure that out. Uh, other than that, I think uh, in from the future of uh, thing, I think we are going through a rough phase for sure. Uh, and, and I think the rough phase is primarily because uh, we've not been able to add enough customers to the ecosystem. Forget about the bottom line, that's a separate issue altogether, a unit economics is a separate issue, but just adding a, a significant chunk to the base uh, is, is remaining a big concern. Uh, so I think things are going to settle, uh, uh, some uh, consolidations will happen and some great uh, uh, stories will come out uh, at the end of it. I have no reason or motivation to believe that number, uh, but let's say the industry is saying that we'll believe it for a second. But I, I, I do not uh, think these are consuming in, these guys are consuming internet as internet. They're consuming internet as entertainment, uh, and it's a, a TV replacement or a MP3 replacement. A lot of times, uh, it's not really consumed. Means I, I was talking to someone uh, at Google or YouTube, and they said that the number of searches on YouTube are inching close to the Google searches. So. That means we are not really searching for information. We are coming more for the entertainment factor, which I would say Facebook is entertainment, uh, YouTube is entertainment, uh, uh, and, and that's what most users want. Uh, and in terms of what I really go by, one metric is number of transacting customers created. And I can tell you one thing, when I talk to the, the MasterCards of the world and the Visa of the world, that number has not grown dramatically and drastically from the base that they have been. I mean, they have close to 310 million debit cards already issued in this country who are, re I mean, they're, they're actually uh, ready uh, for internet transactions, but maybe less than a f under 10 million are actually transacting on and out of that. So that's a bigger issue to be addressed. Uh.